Now we're going to go ahead and practice finding some p-values for a standard deviation mean when the sig sigma is known, the population standard deviation, so we'll use the z-table. So the first thing I want to know is what type of test I have. And in this case, because I have the less than symbol, that lets me know that one, I have a one tail test, so I do not double the value from inside the table. And number two, it lets me know that I have a left tail test, which is how this table finds area. So I'm just gonna get a number from inside the table and leave it that way. I'm going to the Z table and looking up my test statistic. And if you remember, the formula from a test statistic is Z equals. So this number is a Z score. So I find the area to its closest edge. And so the area to the closest edge is 0 0.2033. You your initial value should always be less than half. Otherwise, you've gone past the middle and gone to the opposite edge. So we had decided that we were not going to double that value. So 0 0.2033 is my p-value. I have found the p-value. Now the second step is, do I reject H0 when alpha is 0 0.01? So if the p-value is less than alpha, we reject. That's the decision maker. My p-value is 0 0.2033, and then I want to look at alpha, which was 0 0.01, and decide is it less. Now some people kind of struggle sometimes looking at a two-digit number versus a four-digit number, so it might help to put zeros on the end so you have two four-digit numbers. And this allows you to compare the number 2033 to the number 100, and you can clearly see that it's not less than, so we're going to fail. Fail to reject H0. Be sure to always put that H0 at the end of your statement. Um, otherwise, you could have said, you know, 0.2 versus 0, 0.0. It's not less than. Okay, for our second example, we have not equal to. So we have a two-tailed test, which means we will double our p-value for this problem. So I'm going to go to the edge of the Z table, just like I did last time, and I'm looking for my test statistic because it's Z equals 2.57. So 2.507 at the top, and this gives me 0.9949 inside the table. Now remember, the inside, the p-value, even before you double it, um, should always be 0.5 or less, and it would only be 0.5 if your Z-score was zero. But so this number is too big. That is the area to the left and we need the area to the right. Why do I know I need area to the right? Because this was a two-tailed test. It wasn't a right-tailed test. But I have a positive test statistic. That means I'm on the right side of the curve. So my closest edge would be the right. If zero is the middle, I'm to the right of that. So I want to do one minus the number from inside the table to get my closest edge, which is 0 0.0051. And don't forget, we said we need to double, and so doubling is just multiplying by two, and I get 0 0.0102. I now have my p-value. Second sentence says, do you reject H0 when alpha is 0 0.025? So if the p-value is less than alpha, reject H0. This means I'm comparing 0.102 to alpha, and alpha is 0 0.025. So again, if you were thinking of comparing the number 102 to 25, you'd be in trouble because you would say that your p-value is not less than alpha. But remember, if you're looking at four-digit numbers compared to four-digit numbers, the number 102 is less than 250, so alpha is true. The p, sorry, the p-value is less than alpha, so we do reject. The other ways you could have started off that, you know, 0, 0.0 versus 0, 0.0 is a tie. 0, 0.01 versus 0, 0.02, yeah, 0, 0.01 is less than alpha. So we reject H0, again, remembering to put H0 at the end of my statement. Now, here's something I meant to kind of explain this. So what happened with my p-value is I have this test statistic of 2.57. I find the area to the closest edge, which is 0 0.0051, but I have a two-tail test. That means I need that amount in two tails, which if you add these two numbers up, which is where the 102 comes from. 
So now we reject if alpha can fit inside of our value. So what we want to see is if alpha can fit inside that. And alpha 0 0.025 fits in all of our green shaded area and some of the other green shaded area. So since alpha is less than our p-value, less shaded area than our p-value shaded area, we reject H naught.